Tonight on Fox 10 Investigates, why was Sedona's police chief under internal investigation? It stems from concerns raised by multiple employees accusing the city's top cop of creating a hostile workplace. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum reports. Welcome back to this month's episode of Chit Chat with the Chief of Police. I'm Stephanie Foley. That's Sedona Police Chief Stephanie Foley, promoted to be the city's top cop nearly two years ago. She's been with the department for her entire law enforcement career of 17 years. This statue outside SPD was modeled after Foley and a canine before she became chief. Sedona is a well-known travel destination with 3 million tourists a year. The population is around 10,000. The police department is small with 30 sworn officers and 20 volunteers. But now multiple employees have raised concerns about working under Foley's leadership. Two of them are Sergeant Laura Leone and Deputy Chief Ryan Quitkin. Back in March, a letter to the city of Sedona from a law firm representing Quitkin and Leone accused the chief of creating a hostile work environment. The complaints describe Foley's alleged belittling and disruptive behavior against department employees, a culture that is objectively and subjectively hostile, going on to say she responds to questions unprofessionally with sometimes inappropriate, unwarranted anger. The chief has also been accused of directing subordinates to surreptitiously record others. My name is Laura Leon, and I'm a sergeant for the Sedona Police Department. Leon has been with the department since 2018. She interviewed with us two years ago for an unrelated story. Documents say when she brought up concerns about the chief, she became the object of investigation. I'm Ryan Quicken, Deputy Chief of Police for Sedona Police Department. Quitkin was hired by Chief Foley in May 2023 after he retired as a lieutenant at Boca Raton PD in Florida. Quitkin's claim is Foley lost her temper when he asked another employee to help him deliver water in a podium for a department holiday party. Foley allegedly called the request for help insubordination. With his probationary period ending and above average review after six months of work, the chief wanted to do a 360 evaluation of Quitkin and extend probation so he could work on communication skills, according to his former lawyer in a letter to the city in April. One Sedona PD employee who wants to remain anonymous tells Fox 10 that Chief Foley is divisive, manipulative, and retaliates by writing staff members up. The source also says policies are outdated and not in best practice. Now, as we were getting drone video of the Sedona Police Department, Chief Foley actually walked by. I told her who I was with and asked her if she wanted to talk. She was on her phone. She said no, and she just kept on walking back into headquarters. Due to employee complaints, the city of Sedona hired revolutionary HR consulting to investigate Foley. The probe completed in May, but all eight allegations against the chief were unsubstantiated. That same day, Deputy Chief Quitkin was put on administrative leave as part of a sub-investigation. But why was the chief never placed on leave like Quitkin or the city's former finance director, Sherry White, following internal investigations? These letters on behalf of Leon and Quitkin also tell us that Foley's executive assistant raised the same concerns about the culture. It is also alleged that the city of Sedona has discouraged other employees from coming forward and people fear for their jobs if they speak out. The city responded to the allegations made by staff. A statement from Chief Foley reads in part, My focus has always been and will continue to be on safeguarding my community and leading my staff with utmost integrity. A statement from City Manager Annette Spickard says, quote, After a thorough multi-month investigation, we are absolutely confident in Chief Foley's ability to lead the Sedona Police Department and continue her focus on serving her community. The full findings of the investigation into Foley are not public yet as the investigation into Quitkin continues. In Sedona, I'm Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum.